Hello, everyone, and welcome to the live Trading Room Recap for Wednesday, October the 11th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your Trading Room. Any questions for me, you can use this email address. If you'd like to come into our room, you can uh, just copy and paste this in your browser, and you'll get sent to a form page. You'll uh, we'll ask you for your email. We'll send you back an email. You'll uh, create a password one time, and that'll get you into the trading room. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to come into our trading room. And this is a link you can use for Trade Ideas if you want to take out a subscription. And I open the room at about 9 o'clock Eastern Time. That's when I start to share my screen, and I get live on the mic at 9.05. Well, uh, unbelievable day, guys. Just unbelievable. Uh, I think there's so many people in the room now that uh, participated in all these incredibly uh, functional, <laughs> low flow tr uh, trades. Um, but let me go over the, the, you know, this is one that I got into actually in the pre-market, uh, RGSE, Real Good Solar. Uh, this was a lot of activity on it the last little while. You can see here, uh, here's the daily chart all sorts of activity and then it just broke over two in the pre-market so it's back to the 15 minute chart so where did i get in this thing 215 i got into this one at uh, right here 215 um it's funny I, I i you know i was doing my uh kind of a recap of the fast moving stocks in the pre in the pre-market that's what i do uh, every morning and then i start pacing them into the room and all and i was almost finished and all of a sudden i see this candle so anyway i uh, decided to hop on to it uh, it's a low floater 1.85 million in the float uh got in at 215 uh, sold some at 230, sold some at uh, 234, and sold some at 245. I mean that that basically. I mean, little, and then afterwards, I mean, it went all the way up to 280. But you know, I wasn't upset. I mean, uh, this was quick, quick mover for me, and kind of set the tone for the uh, for the balance of the day. Um, oh man, what else have we got here? Um, Elbix. All these little ones you're noticing, and you know, I, I mentioned just before I started this video, it's not like I only concentrate on these, uh, you know, penny stocks, uh, the, ch the very cheap stocks, but these are the ones that are really moving right now. This one actually moved uh, yesterday, also. Take a look at the daily. I mean, look at the move it had yesterday. There's the topping tail, it, it did sell off at the end of the day, but man, oh man, I mean, it had this big, big move. And so when I got the alert, and I can give you, this is from, it's a new window. It's not so much a new window. It's a multi-strategy window. It has a couple of momentum strategies in it and that we were using yesterday afternoon. So I decided basically to combine it into one window. And so this Elbix, and again, if you want it, just all you have to do is email me at that info at trade-ideas.com. So got into the Elbix at uh, 168, right about here. So just you know, just after that that first candle. Okay, just one second, please. All right, um, I just actually sold. I'll get it, I'll get to it in a second here. So the Elbix. Elbix, um, so I got in at 168, right about here, so not too far after that first burst. And look what it did. I mean, remember now, this is your tremendous, tremendous uh, percentage gains. Uh, I wish I could say I held everything all the way up to 280. Not exactly. Uh, I sold some at 189 in case it couldn't break the two. I sold some at uh, 210 and then on the way down at 197. Uh, this was a very quick pop and, uh, and drop on it, so... Um, I did just sell the OHGI, that's why I paused here, the OHGI, uh, again, another one of these low floaters, um, I got in at uh, 110, hoping of course that it would continue, and just got out underneath, well now it's really starting to drop, just got out basically at a dollar, I said I would get out uh, just under a dollar, took myself out at a dollar, and so for a 10 cent, uh, actually about 99 cents for an 11 cent loss, so... Can't win them all. Sorry, I got in at a dollar eight, so uh, about a nine cent loss. So anyway, that was that one. Um, WPCS, another one. <laughs> I mean, the hits just keep coming. WPCS, here's another one. Look what it did yesterday. This is one I backed off of yesterday. Um, you know, I didn't. I didn't like this daily. What what I saw here, you see. And uh, look what it did. I mean, it got as high as two sixty seven before it, it did uh, sell off. We got a high as 339. I actually 
took this trade. Where did I get this one? At uh, just over the whole number. 305. Oh, that's right. I got into this one twice. I got into it at uh, 305. Right up here, 305. And then it moved down. And I, I took myself out of the trade at 296. Got back in at 309. <laughs> and then I wish I could say I got out at th uh, 338. Uh, not quite. I got out at 322. And then a little bit uh, further, uh, right around here also. So again, these are very, very quick trades. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, lots of volume. I mean, it's not like these are low volume. I mean, this one is traded, you know, 8.9 million shares. So you can take, you know, a few shares and you don't have to worry about the, li about the liquidity. Um, man, I mean, I could keep going on and on and on. PST, which was not so much a, a low floater. Uh, sorry, PSTI. Not so much a low floater. Um, again, look at the daily chart. You'll see I had a nice day yesterday. It came up on that momentum. Uh, this is what I'm talking about here. This momentum trader or momentum window. And I entered the trade at... Wanted to see a 180 break. I got in at 180 and it got all the way up to 195. I actually sold some at 190 right, right up here. And then as it started coming down again, I got out of the trade entirely at 190. And now look at it. It popped over two. Didn't get back in. But uh, man, oh man. Now I got a big shout out to Pavlin in the room, AKTX. So he said, hey, Barry, take a look at this one. right?" And I think it was doing this right about here, 672. I didn't take the trade. Uh, I was in so many other things at the same time that, you know, I just couldn't concentrate on everything. Holly actually got in this one a little bit later, 761. Uh, but look at this. I mean, it, it tacked on a dollar. Um, but this was just a tremendous uh, uh, trade. I know a lot of people in the room took the trade. Take a look at the daily. You'll see why it, you know, why it does what it does because there's no resistance. You know, I mean, that's why I keep saying in the room, look left, look left, look left. If you see a chart that looks like this and something is moving, well, I'm not saying, we're not saying it's going to get all the way up here and, and fill that gap or void, but at least you don't have to worry about chart resistance. You know, if you saw, for instance, if you saw all this, you know, right up here, right after you get an alert, well, you know, you know, it's going to have to try to get through this. So that's why you like to see this real sort of clear area uh, on, on top of the alert. So anyway, big shout out to Pavlin for that one. And, well, what else? Oh, Sorrento. How can I forget? Sorrento has worked out extremely well for me. I have, um, you know, I was swinging this one from yesterday at uh, 235. I did sell some, I think, around 270. I was able to hold on and now look at it. And I did sell some more. I think it was at... Um, Oh, what did I sell it at? I know I, I think it was at uh, 340. I think it was a dollar five I, I took, and I'm still holding on to it. This was a swing trade for me yesterday. Again, I got in at 235. I like the way it was breaking out here, and uh, so this also though was alerted in that momentum, and I think it was just under two. In that momentum window, I believe it might have been alerted right around here. So, you know, even if you weren't in it when I was in it yesterday, you still could participate in a nice, nice rise up. And what else do we have? MTBC. I am, I am in this one again. This one, what happened to me on this one? Um, I think I got stopped out a couple of times on this one, but I got back into it right, uh, right here right about here I was waiting this is one that i might swing i'm back in it right around here 324 and this is let me make sure of that uh, 321 actually so i'm back in this one at 321 i was talking about this one thinking i might want to swing this one this one had a you know a, a, an amazing day back here first it had the big pop and then the next day then the you know there's the top 544 and then had the big big sell-off and on that day, closed right here, dropped the next day, you know, tried to do its thing again. It's been kind of bopping around, and now we see this. So this, um, this could be interesting. You know, the, the trend is up, so I may, I may end up swinging this one also. And, oh, yeah, I'm in this one. Man, oh, man, what an active day for me. I, I'm in this one. Um, I've been watching this one for a long time. Oh, this is the daily. 
watching it for a long time. And let's just see if I can show. So you can see Holly actually had uh, a, a couple of alerts on it. And look at the void. Now, this might be sort of a lotto play for me. I mean, I might, uh, you know, if it can really break out through here. I, I, I did take the trade at uh, 120. And, you know, as long as it holds, let's see, where are we now? 113. So, you know, if it, if it, uh, if it goes down below 108, I'll probably I, I would probably sell it and then wait again for 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 that break to see if it happens again. But look at the volume that came in. You know, this is what alerted me to it. And look at the volume that came in. Unfortunately, the next candle was was almost the equal. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Could be a bit of a lotto play, but again, we'll just have to see what happens. So that is it. My goodness, I got to get back into the room. See, um, I mean, there are other ones. I had IMNP. Uh, but you know there are just so many that are happening uh, and it's all coming from these little small momentum uh, trades that with uh, with stocks with very uh, very low floats and again if you don't know what the float is so for instance uh, this one has 10 million in the float so basically what you do is you take the shares outstanding this has uh, 26 million shares outstanding which is not a lot anyway and then you just start subtracting you know how many shares do the insiders uh, control in in a small one like this it's mainly just insiders that you're subtracting I don't very much any big mutual funds are owning this but you start subtracting all the shares that the CEO and the COO and the CFO all the insiders own because in theory they're not going to be traded on a daily basis so of course the lower the float the better because if the stock gets some news or for whatever reason people want it and <laughs> how about this one you know, we've been watching this one, of course, all, you know, for weeks. It seems like for weeks now, but this is a low float. It only has 2 million in the float. And, I mean, look at the craziness that has happened on this one. Uh, this might be the first red candle. We don't know in, in a while. Um, but, again, just think of the float as being the supply. So you've got something with very low supply, and you've got high demand. You know, I mean, this is traded 18 million shares today. There are only 2 million in the float. So what that means is it is turned over the float 7.7 uh, .7 times. And so, you know, you've got high, high demand. You've got a low supply. And this is the sort of thing that can happen. I mean, this is, a, this is you know, I don't want to say once in a lifetime. We do see these every now and then. But anyway, that, that's why the low floats are, can be really exciting if there was some news and some emotion and people really want to get into the stock. All right, I've ran on a little bit here, so I will put back my capture program. And again, if you want to ask me any questions, uh, just uh, fire an email off to info at trade-ideas.com. Uh, follow this link uh, to enter to uh, create a password to uh, enter our trading room, which is completely free. This is a, a subscription link, and I'll open the room tomorrow at uh, 9 o'clock. Start to share my screen then. Get live on the mic at 9 a, uh, 9.05. Hope everybody has a great evening. We'll see you in the trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.